Hey everyone, thanks for watching again. Today we'll be doing some more technical drawing multiple choice questions and the topic for today will be CAD basics or computer aided design basics. So we'll be going through 10 questions and I'll explain them in detail, okay? So the first question says, using the relative polar coordinate system, and I'll explain that to you, to add a three inch line, and this is all in AutoCAD or any CAD drawing, um, computer um, generated drawing, using the relative polar coordinate system to add a three inch line that is 45 degrees from the end point of the line created above the drafter would dash okay so what they are saying is what would the drafter input into the computer in order to draw a three inch line that is 45 degrees and here we have a polar coordinate system right below here and you have the different angles so if you want a horizontal line you either use 0 or 180 okay if you want 30 degrees this would be your angle 45 would be in between 60 90 150 and so on so in order to um, input a line I will show you exactly what you have to do to draw this okay Okay, so the first thing you have to do when drawing a line is add an L in the text box below, the white box. And to enter your first line, you enter 100 less than 0 to start your point. Uh, for number 2, the next thing you have to do is enter um, 70 less than, and the angle is 45. And then press enter, and you will get your line 70 inches or millimeters okay next one is 30 less than 90 and then you can um enter your angle to get your vertical line and then the last one is 70 less than 135 to get your final angle and we are repeating the drawing on the right hand All side right, so from the video you can see that this would be the answer because for the for all of the inputs right here, you will see that um, you use at and then the number and then um, lesser than and then the angle. Okay. Okay. Number two says a line with a tapering width can be easily created using the dash tool. Okay. So. You know that um, you cannot create a taper. A taper, as you look below, is a line that is um, either increasing in thickness or decreasing in thickness. Depends on which way you look at it, okay? So you have thick lines, you have thin lines, you have uneven lines, but tapered lines are lines that are joined together, but um, it decreases or increases in um, thickness, okay? All right, so I'll show you in this video um, how do you um, get a tapered line. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to line and you choose polyline from the options and then you draw any length of line uh, from one point to the other. So you have your line there and then the next thing you have to do is choose a line, go to right click and go to properties and in properties you can scroll down and you'll see start segment and end segment so those are the ends of the line the start of the line and the end of the line so you want to change the measurements because both of them are at zero okay so if you change the start segment to 10 you'll see one side of the line is thicker than the other okay so that's how you get a tapered line so um, from that video um, as you can see, the only thing that you can use is a polyline, okay? A polyline is the only thing that you can use when tapering, okay? All right. Number three, understanding the Cartesian coordinate system will help the beginning drafter 
A, control the accuracy of the drawing. B, produce a visible grid system. C, select a different textile. Or D, choose various line types, okay? So, if you look at your drawing, uh, the drawing below, you can see the coordinate system. You have the x-axis and the y-axis. You would have learned this in uh, mathematics. So you have zero at the center, and you have positive numbers going up and to the right, and negative numbers going down and to the left, okay? So everything starts at zero, and then you draw according to your axis. So the Cartesian coordinate system, basically talking about um, your axis. And um, the answer would be A, because um, this controls the accuracy of your drawing. If you don't have a proper Cartesian coordinate system, um, your drawing would not be as accurate as um, if you don't have So it. number four says the USC icon represents the intersection of the dash, okay? The USC icon is that little um, angle thing that you see down here that you see on the corner of your drawing. When you open AutoCAD, you would see um, this on the corner of your drawing. So um, as you can see, this has three axes, which is the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. And this shows um, the 3D drawing, okay? So the answer would be all of the above okay because you need the x-axis the y-axis and the z-axis to draw a 3d drawing okay so for number five that. when using the direct entry method to create a horizontal line three inches long the drafter should first and it says pull the line from away from the starting point i think it's it means pull the line away from the starting point very carefully. Ensure that ortho is on. Enter three for the length of the line or read the coordinate position on the dynamic read about. And I'm gonna show you a video on how to create a horizontal line exactly. So here it is. Okay, so what you need to do is before you start drawing the line, you need to go down into author mode below and if you draw this line you will see that author mode is off because the lines are not horizontal neither vertical okay so if you draw this shape you will see that um, you won't have a line according to the Cartesian model with the x and y's if you turn it on though and you go to line you can draw lines that are along with the Cartesian model, the X and the Y. So you're either going horizontal or vertical. And these are guided uh, by the author mode, okay? From that video, you will see that you need to make sure that author is always on to draw a horizontal line, okay? So your answer would be B. So number six says, in order to set the drawing limits for a C, size architectural drawing the drafter should set the limits to and then it gives you the thing so a c size drawing would be um if you look at the chart right here you can see c and these are the different sizes of papers that you can use for um architectural drawings so if you look on the chart here you see arc c size or architectural c size and you have the millimeter measurement and you have the inches measurement okay so if you look here you see 18 by 24 that would be 18 inches by 24 inches okay so um if you want to see size you look here at c and you will see 18 right here and 24 right here okay so these can be found both of these can be found um, if you Google them or anywhere online and you can know the different types of paper sizes that you need to input. All right. right. One quick way to view the entire drawing area is to use the zoom command by typing dash. Okay. And in this next video, I'm going to show you how to do it so you can get the answer. All right. Here goes. Okay. So to use the zoom command, you're going to the command line at the bottom you type in z 
and then you choose A for all, okay? And that would give you an entire view of your drawing all around the window. Okay, so from that, you would know that um, all you have to do is type C and enter A. All right, when setting up a mechanical drawing in AutoCAD, the drafter should set the units to, and I'm gonna show you a video again on this one. So here we go. So in order to change your units, you go to the A at the top, and then you go to Drawing Utilities, Drawing Setup, and in Drawing Setup, you will see a window. Go to Type, and then you can choose Decimal, and there you can change your settings from um, three decimal point to one decimal point. Apply, and then click OK. Okay, so from that video, you can see that um, you should set the units for mechanical to decimal, okay? And that's that. The reason for that is that it gives you a more precise um, drawing for mechanical drawings, okay? In case you're making something that is very small, okay? All right, so the answer would be B. Okay, so number nine says, when drawing a line using the relative coordinate system, a line is created from dash A, zero, zero, B, the end point of the last line, C, the beginning point of the last line, or D, none of the above, okay? So um, the answer would be B, from the ending point of the last line, that is when um, your line is created, okay? So if you draw one line and then you begin to draw another line, it would start from the previous line that you drew from, okay? All right. so that would be and then the last one says number 10 if you use at the absolute coordinate system to create a line from starting point 0, 0, 008 which is um eight um centimeters or millimeters whichever unit you are using on the x-axis and five units on the y-axis you enter dash for the second point okay and uh, this answer would be a because you're creating a rectangle that is eight inches going um on the x-axis and five inches going on the y-axis so as you know the y-axis is up and down and the x-axis is going horizontal across okay so you'll go eight across and then you'll go five up and then you can complete your rectangle okay so you want to use eight and five all right so that's it so try and answer the questions and i'll get back to you on the other one thanks for watching if you understood this hit the like button or subscribe and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one okay bye